When my grandfather was in the life-saving service during the Spanish-American War, they came under the Department of the Navy. And in fact, I think in those days, they were sworn into the Navy. He lived at the Coast Guard Station in Gay Head. They had their summers off, but they were on call. But they had their summers off so they could go lobstering. And uh, during the winter, when most of the wrecks were, they lived right at the station. He was uh, in the original crew at the Gay Head Life Saving Service when it started. It was um, after the city of Columbus. 1895 was when they commissioned the Life Saving Service station at Gay Head. The guys that went out for the city of Columbus were from the Massachusetts Humane Society. The Humane Society had several little boathouses where they hauled up uh, rowing lifeboats. But then the Life Saving Service took over all that. And the Life Saving Service had a boathouse at what we call Cooper's Landing, which is just this side of Gay Head. And that was there and had boats in it until the 38 hurricane was washed out. And then they built the new boathouse down here in Menemcha in 1941. Yeah, and they what they did is they were on active duty at the station up at Gay Head. They lived there. The uh, boathouse was down on the beach, but they lived up at Gay Head. Kept a watch in this tower. So this they had a tower built into the building. Oh yeah, 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 and they kept a watch there. And they also walked walked the beach. They walked the beach, and there were were posts every so many half mile or so where you took the key that was hanging there and put it in your time clock to show you'd been there. You know. So in in stormy weather, they walked the beach every night all night long. And then during the Second World War, the Coast Guard had a lot of little buildings around. And in fact, they even had uh, something down by the Great Ponds where I think some men stayed, actually, a barracks. But it all came under the Gay Head Station. But that was because they were patrolling the beaches just to check every boat and looking for spies coming ashore. And they patrolled the beaches all through the war.